Hey gang, Dave, you're getting any of doors and today I'm coming at you live from Sports Bell. However, I'm not working on a Sports Bell today. I'm working on a contour pedal boat. So if you have a contour pedal boat looking for how to fix it, uh, I'm the guy for that too. So check this one out. This one's going to be a canopy installation for a contour pedal boat. All right, essentially there's going to be two size canopies. One goes on these big fellas and one goes on only the small ones. So the small ones are anything around the 77 inches in length is going to get the small canopy. And this boat is actually going to get the larger canopy, which has three bars. The smaller one has two. One, two, three. This one will get one, two. Uh, this boat comes with the rails for the canopy. If it does not have the rails, this little bracket here is going to screw directly into the edge of the trim about a, about a quarter of an inch into the trim and it's going to be centered on the boat your canopy itself is going to go the longest bar towards the back and now I'm going to hand this over to my special guest re referee here cameraman in training okay because this slider bar already has that bracket on there. I do not need this base bracket. If I'm installing it on the short one, I will need that screwed on here. Let's try it. always goes in from the outside of the boat inwards and why is that so you can access it with a screwdriver it's hard to get the screwdriver in from the outside good question that doesn't have to be screaming tight I'm gonna do the same to the other side so back to the shorter boat that's 77 inches, your bracket is going to be screwed right into the trim and the plastic that's underneath the trim. If you go into the trim, the screw tips will not come down through the plastic. If you do, no big deal, won't leak. Uh, but if you're installing it on one with those actual slider bars, these here are just fancy little extra pieces. Don't be alarmed. All right, back over here. First thing you're going to do after you get all the sliders, wrap your nylon straps. This little kit of fun stuff will be wrapped up in there. Let's uh, find a spot where we can show you what's in here. There is a little bit of an installation diagram, but if you're watching this, you don't need this. So throw that there. Comes with a couple of these loops and different side size size screws. These are stainless steel screws. If you're putting it on the smaller boat, you'll need the big ones. If you're putting it on the bigger boat, you will not need those bigger screws. All you'll need is the four little stainless screws for these little eyelets. Front of the boat, this is where we're going to put the front eyelet. I'm going to place it right here, kind of centered, make it look nice. You could put it down here, however, your nylon webbing for the straps is going to rub on here and could wear over time, so that's why I like it right there. This old baby in, into play. People shuffling around behind me. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> oh. Take three. That's what happens when you get the wrong size tip. Hope that stops running. It's a dangerous spot.
There we go. Pretend those other two didn't happen. If you're a little off center, it's not going to make any difference. If you're a little too high, a little too low, you could even go up here if you want. Uh, if your boat, put it where you want it. I like it right there. Then on the back. back I like to be right up here you can't go here however your webbing is going to run right there and wear down quicker so if you are putting a trolling motor on your boat you're going to want to put it a little bit off to the side so it doesn't interfere with your trolling motor because this is a motor mount Sounds like the beer store, the rollers. Now, my straps are way, 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 way too long. So there is a slider on here. And I'm going to shorten that up. And that's how you don't get sunburnt in a contour pedal boat. Something I didn't mention was the little wee screws on the back of this. That's to stop your sliders from sliding up and down. There's also one on the bottom of there. Uh, you don't really have to tighten that one down unless you want it locked there permanently. But you do have to tighten that before you screw this on. That's it. So... Like, subscribe, share, and let me know if you want that cameraman back in action more often. Oh man, this is starting to look good. Yes, there's no cooler lid on yet. That's coming on next.